Hello, and thank you for sharing this time with us today. I am Vanessa Polk, and I'd like to share a few moments with you on the word possibilities. There is no real difference between the time measuring of the end of one year and the day which marks the beginning of the next year. However, there is something noteworthy about the ceremonial countdown that crosses us over from one year into another year. The quiet space of recounting of the 525,600 minutes of 2020 brings memories of high joys, grave concerns, and terrible losses. Like many of you, while I was glad to see 2020 in the rearview mirror, I recognized that much of what impacted our days last year has not really changed very much as we move forward into the days of this new year. With the impact of a pandemic, politics and protests still a very present reality for us, there is another word I would like for us to embrace. And that word is possibilities. Possibilities is about the many things that may happen. It's about the state of being likely to happen. It's a thing that may be chosen or done out of several possible alternatives. Should we decide to take hold of this mission, possibilities have the potential to lift our vision above the darkness of the pandemic, politics, and protests to the light of new perspectives, new promises, and pathways for accomplishing great things for the common good. We could choose to get stuck in the if only of 2020, or we can decide to fully embrace the possibilities embedded within the what if questions of 2021. Possibilities are open doors. The year 2020 is behind us. We cannot go back. We cannot change the decisions we've made and we cannot erase the devastating impact COVID-19 and social injustice has had on our communities. However, what we can do is to discover or rediscover the secret powers of possibilities. The power to accomplish our greatest desires and propel us towards something new, something different, or something more meaningful. Bishop Vashti Murphy McKenzie recently said, the next moment is waiting to give birth to new beginnings, and it is an invitation to collaborate with God or the divine for your miracle, for your possibilities. Possibilities are within every tick tock of the clock. What possibilities will you birth in 2021? What do you want to accomplish? To become physically fit, more mentally alert, perhaps even spiritually centered. Maybe you want to become more academically sharp or socially grounded. Possibilities are all around us and they are endless. This moment of meditation is more than just a pregame pep talk for the start of the new year. It is a sacred pause for each of us to imagine or reimagine possibilities for ourselves, our families, vitamin health, and our communities. This mission, should you choose to accept it, is to embrace the possibilities around you to surrender yourself to seemingly impossible desires or dreams. Allow your spirituality or your faith in a divine transcendent 
to encourage, to energize, and to equip you to go beyond your fears or boundaries. Take a moment. Breathe in and out, sensing the holy within you, and accept the mission to enter the next moments of your life ready to give birth to new beginnings and new possibilities. Thank you for sharing with us today.